Alright, just need a second. We're going. Yo, what's up, Bash? Oh, yeah, yeah. I think it's helpful. Oh nice, chat is all clipped up. <laughs> oh well. Thank you, thank you. Should be alright. We're gonna try for a mostly standard run, but uh, I'm going to switch up one of the grinds a little bit. We'll see. Last run we had was pretty decent, but there's definitely room for improvement. It's a little weird because, like, some of the segments were really good and some of them were just not bad, but they were just okay. We'll see. <coughs> I went back and counted. After I got through the... Um, after S Dark, till the end of the game, I had eight encounters and six of them were ambushes, which is just absurd. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. And that costs that costs a lot of time. What's up, Dick? It's true. Sunday on Thursday, and then, then Thursday on Sunday, it's all a mix. But yeah, I, didn't, I hadn't done a run in like a week and a half, so it was definitely time. today. You were nice last stream. You were you were actually above average last time. It was incredible. <laughs> you ever sit down for a speed run? Like, you, you know, you start streaming, get your console ready, you start running, and you're like, oh, am I actually, like, prepared <laughs> to be here for four plus hours? <laughs> I think I'm alright, but we'll see. I was just like, oh, yeah, let's do it, and then it's like, oh, you know, maybe not yet. It'll be fine. I say that because I just made a cup of tea. And I was like, fumbling <laughs> to finish it. I'm happy. Awesome. Welcome to the stream. It's all smiles here. Can't spell smile without slime. That's a fact. Mm. 
one Wiggly. It's fine. I actually wonder what other DS runners do. I stare, so I look at the capture when I'm playing this. And not the actual console. But I'm sure there's preferences either way. I just wonder what the norm is. There's no delay. Oh yeah, Roselle. Hmm. Because I think when I've seen other people do marathon runs, they're primarily looking at the console. I do now and then. When I do Minips, I'll look at the console. But no. No delay. It's pretty nice. It's like very clear. Staring at your Latin, yeah, that is the effect. I think I would have survived that next turn anyways, and then I would have guaranteed run after. Yeah, I feel like DS is a good medium. It's like just beefy enough. GBA, it's pretty tiny. I know I said this before, but... It definitely is somewhat taxing on your hands to hold this console up. It's probably even more so when the, it gets smaller. Man, I would kill to have like a controller go through <laughs> a homemade USB port or something of <laughs> a DS. That would be sick. I don't think that's ever happening, but you know. Alright, this is going fine, but this is a pretty slow start. A lot of second, third try runs. my goals for this run is to be more smart about when I'm in chapter 4 and 5, how much money I have. There are some t parts of the last few runs that I've done where it's like, I don't have enough money to use the cleric services. 
Or it's like, oh, I don't have enough MP, so I can't warp out of here. I want to be a little bit more on the ball. Yeah, look at this. Almost all of these are second or third try runs. I don't think any fourth try yet, though. Alright, let's go. Up. Thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. Smile stream. Mm. Alright, here we go. Could be special. That was definitely a good one to run away first try. I'm probably gonna fight one more fight. I can cancel this fight, but I'm gonna take it. Alright. I'm gonna try the sword on these guys today. Yeah, that's fine. Oh my goodness. He's a critical machine. I do think this is going to get made a level 4, which is nice. We'll lose some time if we make it through this fight, but I'm not not worried. Defend. All right, next turn's gonna be sketch. Go for it. Oh, baby. Wrong, wrong dude, but... Eight points of damage. I had eight health left. I'll right, we'll give it one more shot. Actually, I think I'm pretty close to level 5. Yeah, so when the Winky defends on turn 1 and doesn't defend on turn 2, it guarantees that on turn 3 he goes into crit. That was pretty unfortunate that that... that did... exactly enough. Fireball can do like 
5 to 10. This is probably like a 2 minute penalty at least. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. We'll just Blitzkrieg this one. If not, we'll start over. Subsystem error, thank you. Great, defend one. Defend two is actually nice. Defend three is bad. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Alright, Healy, you can do it. Great. He's gonna heal himself again. 18 is the magic number to get hit by at max health for him. The first time, not the second time. Healy? Healy? <laughs> this guy. Alright, Healy. He's just attacking. He can't stop attacking. He's just a physical machine. Yeah, let's defend. Ugh, even if we get through this, it's gonna be like so slow. I'll probably keep it. I'll probably. Let's see what it looks like. If it's if it's over twenty, which I don't think it will be, then I'm out. I think it's gonna be like nineteen low. Actually, I don't know. I'm winging right out of town. I'm not walking outside. <laughs> Gamble. Apparently there's a glitch that happens sometimes when you wing right out of here and the kids are invisible and actually still with you. Saber. Walk to the right a little bit. Hell yeah. <laughs> mm, this might actually be more like 20 minutes. Let's get through chapter 2. I usually don't do this on weekdays because it means that you get one run and that's pretty much it. But I think I'm okay for not PBing for a little bit. Of course you always want to, but... The last PB was the one that I, like, quote-unquote, really wanted to get. <laughs> Just to, like, actually put my time in a decent spot. Yeah, this is looking like 20 minutes. I think I'll keep it though. Mind who ye gee. So my PB had a death at Balzac, which cost me quite a bit of time.
That's not gonna happen. Did you know that Bray shows up in Dragon Quest IX? In the observatory, it's crazy. Cat! Bring back the water seal command for Saturday. Day. gets me every time. That one tricked me. Okay, so the way it works is that when you're in battle, if there's only one enemy, you only have to press attack and it'll attack the whole group. But here, because there was two groups, you have to confirm the group afterwards, and it messes with your menuing if you're expecting one and it's the other. So see there, it's only one group, so you don't have to confirm past the first one. Bray? It's tricky if you get too much EXP and messes up the manipulation later. Those are really fast two fights to get for that amount of EXP. This could be unfortunate. Two, three, four, five. You had to do it. I believe they took away the claws in this version of the game, where not everybody is guaranteed to go on the enemy team before chapter. Uh, I'm just all messed up now. All right. Before chapter five. Hmm. Which is unfortunate. Because getting hit by 12 moles is not fun. Alright, well, we're gonna have to do it now.
I can safely say I've never had to do this. We're gonna see how this manip goes. If it's at all sketchy, then I'm just gonna reset. One, six. All right, the HP rolls today are good. It's true, shovels. This was their debut too. Dragon Quest IV. Whoops. Up and left. You watch how the kid moves around, and that's how you know where you are. Yo, what's up, SK? Welcome to the stream. This is one of the faster fights, for sure. One of the eight patterns allows you to crit the dude on turn one, the middle guy. It's pretty glorious. Hello and welcome. Welcome meat packers. All right. 
Good. I can't believe the thugs are the ones with the, the most clear dialect in the first, like, four chapters. Whoa, where am I going? Alright, we're gonna, you know, risk it a little bit. Maybe. Rudress's text. I kind of can't remember. What's he called then? He's called Nimzo, is that right? I think that's right. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the moon runes, yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everyone's dead. We made it. Yeah, I think when you're trying to beat a game reasonably quickly. Yeah, starting over is rough. Especially like early levels in DQ games, you're given so little to work with. Okay, I'm just risking out of here. We've gotten decently lucky, it's just one more fight. You can do it, team. Just hang in there. Don't do it. Alright, that's fine. That's was actually really close to not being a second fight. Uh, I'm redoing it. You have to walk perfectly or else you mess up. Yo, what's up, Summon D? Welcome. B D D. King BDD. King of the girth. Actually, I should do everybody's. short. Mm, bad math on my part. Another one. Okay. Yo, what's up, Icebergs? Thank you. <laughs> Girth, dude.
can't believe I get to straddle Bic in my arms in less than a month. It's crazy. I promise on the honey brains within me. And you know how valuable a honey brain is. Oh yes, warm and friendly here. <laughs> Except... Except the game. Hello, Eggman. Happy Thursday. Yeah, it should be good. I think, uh... It's actually really ideal, because... I mean, one, I have a run of things to practice, too. For second, is that the classic Mega Man Relay is coming up, and I have to actually train. <laughs> and it's like a really good time during the downtime that week to just... play a bit. And then three, I guess, is hanging out with people. Just kidding. <laughs> and four, I guess, is... <laughs> ...being a staff member. <laughs> okay. The priorities there were just, like, completely reversed. <laughs> Don't worry about it. NBA Jam tiebreaker. Oh man. Yo, I gotta check out ROM hacking, see if they updated the roster to 20, 2018. Alright, I lost enough time this run already. I'm risking it on floor one. When we have to make the the fight. Not yet. It's really floor two that's super dangerous, so we'll reset that one. The one I'm on right now. Next time we come up here. Alright, here we go. Just gotta walk, man. It's no problem. See? Here we go. That's a fight. That's a fight. See ya. So I could risk it on this floor too, but the enemies here are like... actually very dangerous. And with the gear that I have, which is basically non-existent, because you can, you can get away without it. That's pretty silly to attempt it. You can get four-time dragon ants that just do... Fire Breath. Or the Pteranodons, it's just a mess. Ordinarily, if for like PlayStation Strats, you'll try to be level 5 and you give... Christo the chainmail, and Elena keeps her gear. It's not safe, but it's better, I guess. I 
Ah, uh, yes. I watched... So my brother invited me over for WrestleMania. So I did watch some of it. I told Eggman. I left when the jorts came on. It was enjoyable. I had fun. I used to be so into it when I was like, I don't know, from like 10 to 13 years old. Alright. Yeah, that's back when I used to visit New York City, and I was like, you know, to go to Madison Square Garden to see them. And 12-year-old me was like, wow, this city's crazy, I could never live here. Here I fucking am. Yeah, dude, the text was so funny. Big wrestling. Ah, <laughs> uh, one heal. Oh yeah, that's cool. Interesting. In that area, Eggman? I have no idea. There's a decent amount of celebrities from like mid-state, upstate New York that have retreats. And I guess it makes sense if a fair amount of people are based in New York City. And that's like, that's around where I grew up. Maybe he came back to life just to, to meet you, Eggman. I always want to have the confidence to just blaze through that menu, but if you make one mistake, it's all over. What's up, Pods? Jesse Ventura. Oh yeah, you were like delivering. <laughs> I think you may have told me that. But that's so good. Yo, what's up, PM? Thanks, man.
we died on chapter one boss, but giving it all our energy for this one. Here we go. Four. Three. Nice. Three. Hell yeah. Is that all you got? 80? Oh shoot, I always do this. I always do this. I was like, 80 is not right. 85 is right. I always sort to the bag and forget to check there. I, what I really should do is sort to the bag right away and then only do it for the bag. I'm not healing for that 4 HP, or 5 HP, it's going. Do it. Alright. That death from Christo in the first grind costs a little bit of time, but otherwise it's been pretty decent. Both caves were pretty good. 21? You just got two strength rolls for three. Okay. He eventually signed. There's some crazy people out there, man. Don't trust the system. Nice. Oh, not nice. Nice. Outspeed on the last turn. That was all over the place. Alright, Elena. I saw you crit once before in this chapter. It was manipulated, but that doesn't matter. I probably should have used that one there, because I'm going to have to use it in this battle, or else I'm going to waste it. One more Sizz, and we're going to be good. Perfect. Defense? I mean, it's actually kind of nice. Alright, I believe it was last run where I critical the Shadow Linguar three times. <laughs> Let's just do one of those here. That'd be great. Alright, get your votes in. A, B, C, or D. Note that I will never choose B. Big D, I'm in. Ah, oh, medicinal herb. Alright. Oh, not good. I might actually have to burn. Two extra, which is really bad. I had a good count going into this, but what are you doing? I've never seen two, let alone three. He's just on a rampage today. What the f? I'm going for it. All right, I thought that was it. Oh, damn. Is 
So enemy herbs do less healing than a player herb. But it's still pretty rough. It's the same with the heal from Chameleon Man. D it is. D! Come on, D. Come on, D. There's A. Coming in strong. D! Come on, one more. That's all you need. A. The competition's hot. It's a critical. No! I had to do it, though. It gets really sketchy, because he always outturns you. Oh, baby. Nice. Nice. Gotta believe in the D. <laughs> it actually turned out to be a pretty good chapter, too. Chapter 1 was slow, but... It's a fine start. I actually think... I think I don't have a wing to get out of here, which is fine. I just, I gotta check real quick. Slow. <laughs> Alright, man. I lost, what, maybe five frames selecting D by pressing left, but gained multiple because <laughs> there was more D than A. Span frames the whole run, I see. Don't worry, I don't I don't question your knowledge of the D. It's vast and deep. <laughs> MNA or DNA? Mergers and acquisitions or <laughs> Dicks and acquisitions? <laughs> Uh, I do have a wing. Slow but effective. This run's fine. It's it's not super fast, but it's fine. Largely what I want to do in Chapter 5 is have my grind be a little bit longer, because I do want to get a run in where I do level 32 hero so that he gets Omni Heal. It's about four more Liquid Metal Slimes. That's fine. I haven't used Omni Heal against Necrosaurum forever, but it is very nice. I did a cha chapter 5 practice run through last night. And I left the grind way too early. There was another run where Christo didn't have revive for the final fight, and it was a disaster. I did beat the boss, but really, really slow phase five. All the Japanese names are kind of different. Her name in Japanese is Alina, A-L-I-N-A, is what it would translate to. Oh, that sucks. Close. Christo is Clifto. Ragnar is just straight up Ryan. That's why they call him Nick Ryan. real way to get money um it kind of is they i think they they just want you to fight battles and get drops off of enemies and then give it to your wife to sell 
Yeah, first phase is get to the statue, right? And then sell armors back to the the dude here. Bon Malmo. And then phase two is yeah, just kinda of wander around, get rare stuff, give it to your wife. I don't know if this was part of your playthrough, Bic, but... Um, there's a cave north of here that protects any money that you lose. You can actually get it in Chapter 5. In this version. I don't think you can in the original. You know, I never thought about it. I should try turning the camera all the way around and seeing if it waits for the dog. I never thought about it until right now. Because you have a little bit of room to walk. Uh, you know, my guess is that the camera actually just turn, turns all the way around again. Ah, well. You're also supposed to go in Endor and recruit NPCs in this chapter. I mean, you're not supposed to. You can. But you have to pay them a wage. Yeah, there's a soldier that hangs out outside of the shop. And then if you go upstairs in the inn... There's a there's like a mage that'll heal you and use some spells. Strom and Laurent, if I remember right. That's my I know. True tycoons do it themselves. All right, here we go. Big wins, big wins. I'll take... Mm, let's see. 2700 plus is really what I want, but I can make do. If I see 2600 again, I'll probably take it. Getting a critical here is real nice, because this is the most valuable thing I sell to this guy. I think there is a point in which I probably should just say whatever. Just say whatever, man. What I mean <laughs> is, uh, like if it's 2,500 and 2,600, as long as it's 2,500 and I can afford everything that I want to buy here, it's not worth re-rolling. I don't even need that much. It's just really good to get it on that guy because... Oops. Because it's very expensive. That full plate armor, you can get a lot of money for it. Like, getting 4,000 is really, really nice. Yeah, so what, I got 2,700 and I had about 200 left over, so yeah, 2,500 or so.
those crits. <laughs> I just love referring to it as critical shopping. Alright, platypuses are very dangerous. Yeah, I'm pretty sure between this and the mountains outside of Endor, it's like your best bet. Just gotta keep up these first try runs in chapter five. Well, I guess then also in chapter. Why am I going up? I'm going the wrong. I wouldn't have avoided that fight anyways, but. All right, no medals. No medals. That's a vampire bat. It's confused. <laughs> Love how there's no animation. They just tell you. This just thin. Seven damage. I like the idea of Tornado fighting on a, a raft. Enemies being confused is nice because it obviously means you're taking less damage, but it also costs you time. Right, that was actually a really, really solid cave. Uh, it is yourself. For some reason, I'd be coming from the below. Right. Very unsettling. Just dump all of your money immediately that you get from that. Mmm, <laughs> daddy boy. Shamois. Shamois.
Alright, here we go. Big crits. Huge criticals. We're also, we're talking to this guy right away. Get it out of the way. Only crits. That's a good start, though. That's a herb. I think I'm just gonna start putting this immediately into the bag because I keep doing it. These are some good rolls, though. Manipulation. Selecting the wrong thing. I've been in this scenario before where I've been stingy about 1700s. The reality is is that you need criticals, so if you're getting around some 1800s, some 1700s are fine too. But you need to get at least a few crits or else it's really slow. There's not much better to do, like you can run back invest in a bunch more and come back, but not only is that slow, but you're still really at the mercy of getting some crits. There you go. That's a big one, too. It's unfortunate that you can't sort the iron aprons to the top of the bag. That would be great. Oh baby, two big crits so far. We want four and we can probably get away with four. Five would be awesome. And these sell for 1500, so that's your break even. These have been good values, for sure. How many do I have left? Not many. Six. Alright, that's good. Alright, so I need to... It would be nice to average about 2k for the rest of these, but... I can sell a few others if I need to. A few other items, I just don't want to. I'm taking these because it's like... Whether it's 1700 or 1800 doesn't matter all that much right now. So I'm down about 900, and that's about the most I would want to go. Now it's like 1200. It kind of sucks, but it's like it's better to get out of here, I think, if you have some leeway. If I, I'm gonna stick it out for an 1800, or I'm going to. Hopefully get a crit. Or maybe a high 17. There we go. That's all we needed. Alright, so now I'm down about... Hmm... 400, 500, right? Oh, no. Nice math. Actually, what should I sell? This. I 
guess I could have sold it to that guy. Actually, it might be slower text. I don't know. There's a lot of text to sell to that guy. It might be faster to just do it there. That was a pretty decent first negotiation. There were a lot of 1800s early. Hello? This game's got sticky walls, man. That should be a category. You take your the category is immediately buy. So get silver statue for twenty five hundred or twenty five k, and then immediately spend it all on coins and finish the chapter. <laughs> That's awful because you'd have to like get the goods and then sell them for their value, just like way less. <laughs> You can't just like turn coins back in for money. Anything else? No. That medicinal herb for 12 G is gonna save me. Do I have 64? I do. Okay. Good. Decent time so far. You never know with this part, but. Yeah. It would be so nice if we could just dump all of these at once. It's not that good. You have a lot of stuff left, don't you? What? What kind of operation you're running here, Tessie? Alright, I think I'm gonna have to cash these in. Stay overnight, buy nine more after this day. Should have enough. Fly by now. I worked so hard, Tessie. Who are you to run this shop? Do you even have an MBA? Skulls Torneco for hanging out with a dog all day. Torneco. That's some big money. All right, we're friends. We're friends. We're friends, wife. Perfect.
This shopkeeper lets me do nine at a time, why can't you? No excuses. I don't care if you're new to the game. I expect you to handle nine abacuses at a time. In two hands. Scottish pun. Yes. Scottish last buster bolts, just like the the red-headed girls from Brooklyn who <laughs> call the whippersnappers knuckleheads. Smack. I used to legitimately think, I, mean, I probably said this before, I used to think like Nita was actually just smacking. <laughs> like, backhanding Torneco. I don't think it was that. Actually, that's not great. What do you have left? Two? I think I have to stay over. I've got... Uh, you know what? No. We're good. We're good, we're good. 2600 is enough. I didn't realize I had some spillover. Hmm? I don't think we're saving that much time, but we're not losing time, which is cool. <laughs> I actually might have enough money for another abacus. I really should do the abacus sale or purchase last. I buy this stuff. Not really for Charneco, but for Christo. Yeah, I definitely do. I gotta work out that math a little bit better. I'm always nervous I'm gonna mess up something, and I'd like to have the money until the end. But I should just do the Abacus purchases at the end. Very early, I think this was the PlayStation days, I made it the error of buying six times iron apron instead of iron armor. Catastrophic. Alright, chapter 4 is revenge. I'm excited. The chapter 4s lately have been really, really good, except I die on Balzac. Because he decides to double physical the sisters. But the rest of the chapter 4s have been, like, super good. So... We just need a super good one, and we need to not lose the Balzac. Easy. Yo, what's up, Hacticle? Welcome. Where am I going? Where am I going? Just looking at the dog, thinking what to do next.
Alright. I'm pretty close to gold. Not bad. Bad at all. Today is the day. The first try Balzac. Maya. Go! Before I use the light. Now. Every time it comes so fast. Not nine. Wait, yes, nine. What am I doing? Yes. Everything's... It sounds like I freak out over that menu, but every time I exit that menu and I say next time I'm not going to do it, and then I do it. Could save and quit here, but I'm just gonna go for it. Fungul. Great. Alright, it's one more potentially bad encounter. Maybe two if we get unlucky on this next floor. It's not gonna happen. Here we go. 
Orin. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Had to be very, very tight with the walk. So I'm going to keep them in the front. Try to get their HP down a little bit. We're like just about to get into a fight. Hey. Winkster. Not sure when I should use this HP nut. Kinda doesn't matter. Like, I could wait till the next menu, which is an equip, but that's such a separate menu that it doesn't really matter. What are you doing? Alright. Nice death warp for everybody. That's not nice. She'll get level 2 though. No rename. That was the one. That was the one for you, and it just we just lost it. See this one? This is for the fans. Stop hitting Ujum in the back. No. No! Don't do it. Okay. I really didn't want to win that battle. I ever did all this unbalanced EXP. I mean, it's not bad if she gets EXP, it's just like... It's a lot nicer to keep it even. You definitely need to do enough battles to have 20 gold, so that when you death warp, keep half of it enough to revive. Every time. Look outside. Sub Zygor. Hello. Dirty Dogoo. Do I like DQ3 or 4 more? I like 4 a lot more as a game. But 3 is the ultimate RPG speedrun, so... Not too much contest there. 
game's cool, but... Don't get me wrong, I like this speedrun a lot. short money. I might have to sell uh, options. Really short. You know what? I'm actually going to grind outside. I didn't realize how short I was on money. I think what I should do is that in the instance that this happens, it's like totally fine to grind uh, in the interim, but I think what I should do is that if I notice this happens, I should grab the extra money that's in Mambaraba before I leave, just like 40 or so. And if that was the case, then I would just sell herbs until I got a pack. This isn't going to take long, it's just... I need to grind anyway, so it's fine, but just be more efficient. I don't know. We can sell an herb. I think I'm gonna have to buy herbs before I go fight Balzac anyways. Yeah, for sure. I say this is the friendliest of the three main versions. It still have its rough points, but it's like a huge barrier of entry to learn anything related to Minips, but it definitely helps out a lot if you do. This is kind of slow fight, but it actually gives a lot of money. It's really nice. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to buy herbs. That's just what's happening. As much as I don't want to do this, I'm out of MP. And I really don't want to revive anybody, so I'll just buy herbs before I go. This could be good, or it could take a million years. Alright, good start. Less optimal. Alright, good. So you might summon an ally, but that's okay. These guys are actually great for EXP, so that's really nice. It's just, it can get out of control really fast. That's a really good fight to get, though, for those guys. They can show up in a group of, like, six, and that's absurd. What this means is that we don't have to worry too much about fighting stuff in the mines. I need another level before I go fight the boss, but if I don't find anything good in the mines, I can go grind outside of Kileon Castle. It's a little slow, but it's pretty stable.
because if you hold upright, you can't break the pot. I was about to use the Sphere of Silence, but <laughs> those guys don't have EX, or they don't have, uh... MP anyways. You know, I should actually be doing this. Both of them, actually. I gotta be careful with this guy. He might go berserk. I really should be sapping. Kinda forgot I'm level 5 already. Yeah, level 6, that's sick. Oh, wow. Man, that rat attack fight really helps. That's sick. Now I can actually snooze guys, get out of here. Depends on the enemy. It's one guaranteed fight, maybe two if we get unlucky on the first floor. We're gonna get into a fight when we try to get this life nut over here. You know, I wonder if you encounter reset from the start of this floor, if you can make it. I feel like probably not. The fail of the 75% and she's dead. Don't do it. Oh my god! <laughs> it's, uh... It's not the end of the world. It's, it's, it's funny. It's like, I got the levels I needed, and that death warp is like... Well, it's not a fast death warp, but... It puts me outside the dungeon, and with just enough resources to survive and be fine. It's really the fact that I'm already level 6 is which makes this not so bad. Uh, here. I would love to just stroll in, but I gotta buy herbs. Actually, yeah, let's just top off her. I'll put some back in her inventory afterwards. I could wing to the palace, but... Just come down here and do this. As far as scenarios in which an unfortunate death happens, that's a pretty good one. Because I basically got exactly what I need and I didn't have to go through another battle. So I wouldn't say it's faster, but it's actually not that much slower. It just worked out because I had enough money and I already got my levels. Hong Kong. Alright, it's today the day. Today the day where... <sighs> we actually get a nice first try of ball sack. Crazy, I know. I was just thinking I really should be doing this before as well. Her MP's rarely a problem, but I should be sorting the bag. I think I'm gonna have to make a mental note of that. Sorting to the bag. Alright, here we go.
Nice. First turn. I did not heal. Oops. Three. That's the night light. Oh! Five HP. Okay. I'm gonna have to play it out one more turn. Okay. It's good for next turn. Getting kind of sketchy here. Okay, do this. Sap's about to wear out. Might be right now. Maybe? Okay, another one. That's good. Okay. There we go. Uja. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Oh ho ho! My boy! It's kind of sketch, but we'll defend with her. She could survive a hit, but let's not take the risk. Nice. 30 plus is safe for her to heal herself. Yeah, let's do it. Nice. Boom! Alright, we're gonna double up this turn. Go for broke. Oh my goodness! The fabled good Balzac fight. Two crits from your boy and a dodge. Impressive. He crit. Mina goes in for the attack. He crits again. Didn't even need to sap again. Who needs to sap when you just crit? This is the slowest death! Alright, alright. At least Ujin can die first. <laughs> it's so hard to get through here without... <laughs> ...breaking like an extra pot. I'm telling you man, some DQ games have like sticky walls. From like, DQ7 onwards. that are 2D like this. Okay. Yeah, like 146, 47 maybe. Should be good. Lost time in chapter one, but chapter two, three, and four were all actually really solid. So I said this before, but I'm going to be leveling up a little bit more than I usually do in the Chapter 5 last grind to get Omni Heal. Heal us all. And I usually don't because it takes about four more metals, but the reason I'm doing it, one, I want to see if it does really speed up and help out the final fight. And two... I'm doing it for the marathon. Because having Omni Heal is actually quite... It like really, really helps. 
It really helps because the hero's base agility is pretty slow and he almost always gets outsped by Necrosaro. So it's super, super nice to have him have Omni Heal. Because he usually goes last and then can heal everybody to max. It's a luxury I've gotten used to not having, but having it is super cool. One forty seven is totally fine. Not blazing fast, not slow. Blazing fast is like one forty four territory. Ah, it's probably even lower than that. If you get like the god chapter three, you probably save. Two minutes. Like that chapter four was pretty good. The death warp was like a little unfortunate, but it wasn't really that costly. And that Balzac fight was sick. You would definitely save time if you didn't safety. You just lose a billion if you don't safety save and try to fight it again. Time to check Twitter while our village gets ransacked. Sarah hitting the villagers with that wood douche. Whoops. Sorrow would never do a shooby swing. Far above that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Casino! We're safe. Chasing all the uncles. Yeah, 
This is T. T Kun. I hope one day to witness someone doing a Dragon Quest speedrun and to be like plus on their splits and they get to a casino segment and they just, without saying anything, just start playing casino. <laughs> Man, that would own. That's hilarious, Ash. That owns. Alright, police are coming. Oh, great. Let's just add more sirens. I paused because I know I always beef that menu. So we didn't. No beefing. No beef. No beef, I said. No beef. Alright, we'll take this fight. Phantom. Not the person who put to sleep! F off. Don't do it. Don't do it. You fucking are doing it to me. You did it to me. You fucking did it to me. Do it to me. <sighs> How much money I got? 20. I don't think that's enough. What are we selling? God, that's frustrating. Selling strength seed. Feels bad. That is absolutely absurd. Let's <laughs> put her to sleep, the only person who's gonna actually do spells and damage in that fight, and then fail to run three times. Thanks. Classic Dragon Quest. Pfft. 
She's mad. I'm mad. She's mad. This is bad. <laughs> I say this is good and then I get pushed. Man, that must have been the lowest level 6 possible. Because it took two fights for her to get to level 8. She usually has whoosh. She's usually level 8 for this part. What am I doing? That sucks that I had to use my strength seed. Well, I was only gonna roll the bare minimums, anyways. <laughs> God. I gotta say, man, more than any other game I've speedrun. DQ... DQ kicks you when you're down. It just is unapologetically... wants none of your shit. <laughs> Look at this, 12, 11. Talk about shooby swings. Alright, at least I didn't get it. Oh, baby, alright. This is fine. Why do we buy these? I'm glad the AI changed. If I didn't know better, I would say that the AI was not going to change, because it doesn't do that when you fight Liquid Metal Signs later, but clearly there's some advanced mechanism. Alright, I made up a little time, which is nice. Probably get away without heal? Eh, I don't know about that. Let's just do it. If you have high strength rolls, you can kill these guys in two hits. Alright, I'm going for it. Let's go! Let's go! Poof! <laughs> That's why I don't do it. Oof, there goes the turn. Alright, well, definitely losing time on this split. We haven't even faced the boss yet. Dead meat. You never call... You never call a fellow meat packer dead meat. How could you, Mina?
Disrespect me. That's right. I don't eat. I don't eat meat these days, but I respect. Them. As long as you respect the meat, you can do whatever you will, please. But if you don't respect the meat, you're not welcome to my stream. That's a fact. What is, why does the order change? I guess I change the order later, so it doesn't really matter, but... Once you get past this line right here, that's when the encounter rate stops being ridiculous. Perfectly daytime. Oh yeah, we're definitely on time. Man, I'm still mad about that Bantam. Just awful. Moving on. Ball sack more like ball. I somehow missed that wonderful comment. time. So, don't mess it up. Yes. I remember last time was the one with the, the slow outcome. It still works, just slow. Yeti, okay. Oh, do not forget the tactics. I'm doing it right now. Okay. Yeti. How did that? Oh, I see. I almost messed it up again. All right. Yeah, I, I gotta really... You have to be very careful with tactics. Picto chat. So I got a ways to go, but hopefully we can bleed not too much time. I'm definitely losing time, but it might not be all that bad. 
probably like a minute and a half, two minutes. Really, if you get through this fight, you're pretty good for a while. I mean, you do have to get through the liquid metal manip as well, but... This is really the last fight for a bit that's really gonna throw you off. Like, even Kilion and Balzac are kind of challenging, but they're... Um, you really come with... The goods to beat them. I could run from this, but I'll try this one. It does suck because that is... two casts of poof. And I don't have a ton of MP, but those guys are very scary. So you gotta be careful. We save here just to... save away the encounter and set up a safety save. Yeah, I'm already about to start losing time. The thing is, this fight does not take long, if it goes well. That's a pretty big if. I don't want to discard it. Nice. We're just gonna fight this one then. That's unfortunate. I'm just gonna defend and hope for the best. Wow! Fan and hope for the best. Okay. Not good. Alright, whatever. If you get hit, you're dead anyway, so just do it. Nice. Okay. We're good. We can just push it.
It's it's scary. That fight's weird because it it would be nice for the sisters to die off because I do want to have them dead soon. However, I need Maya to be alive so that I can use a vac in the Pedequia cave. That's still a good fight. I lost some time, but uh, the fight was fine. Horatio with the double crits. Oh, it's Dragon Quest IX's sailing theme. Crazy. I think I'm going to start using the Nightlight to cancel the fight there. Yeah. Yeah? Oh, actually, no, I can't do it. Never mind, this works. The reason I do that is so that when I go back here, it's daytime. When I leave this cave and go to... Soretta. Because if it's nighttime, I have to use the inn, and I don't really need to use the inn. Actually, I don't want to use the inn, because I don't want to restore HP on Mina and Maya, because I want to kill them off. So, I intentionally try to not keep them. They are healed now, but they may take damage in this area, and I actually want them to. But I don't want Mina to die, or Maya to die. Oh yeah, dude, it's the best. Alina just kicks down the door instead of doing what any other reasonable person would do. Use the key. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We're going for a ride. We're getting cracked. This is now worse. 
now it's very dangerous. I'm alive. Alright, well, it sucks, but I'm not gonna heal. We're gonna be fine. Police are here. It sucks that Hero died, but I could have healed him. The worst part about this, it's not the time loss. It's the time loss from... It's not the time loss from him dying and reviving. It's time loss from me having to fumble through my inventory. So that's why we're gonna revive him right away. I could wait until I go to... pretty much anywhere else, but... it makes sense here. It's right here. I have to come in here. It's really not that bad. But if I didn't revive him right then, I would have, like, a weird inventory. Because all of this would start going to... Hello? Mina. And then it's, like, really just all messed up. Yeah, yeah. It's super nice having that in history, for sure. They do. It's true. You do it in the after the pyramid when you go to the magic key vault. If hero's dead, it still makes sense to put it. You have to do that inventory change. I'm sorry, your lineup change before you go in there so that everything goes to him, even if he's dead. forgetting to test this, whether or not they hurry outside to the wagon, if you have space in your inventory or not. Yeah, when you set the night light outside of Mintos, it actually lines all of this up really nicely. By the time I get over to Seaside Village, it's gonna be perfectly daytime. No other game? Yeah, I'm not sure. I can't remember for DQ9. I think it... I think it's like all the other games. My guess is that 6 is probably the same as 3, though. It's weird, though. Even from 6 to... Oops. From 6 to 3, they changed up what the, like the actual command menu looks like. And just be like, why would they do that? I feel like every time there's a new DQ game, they're like, hmm, let's change the command menu one more time. <laughs> it's like, you don't need to do that. You can just leave it the same.
Alright, luckily me and Maya have pretty low HP, so it should be relatively fast to get them to Death Warp. Not Death Warp. Just die. <laughs> death Warp without the warping part. Just death. Nice battle with some wild beasts. I'm already dead. <laughs> Hell yeah. Alright, everything's fine if we run away next turn. Great. Optimal. <laughs> it would have been really bad if I didn't run away then. <laughs> because not only would he die, but then the other party members would start showing up and they'd die. And just be... no bueno. I'm purposely not healing the hero, because you want him... he's gonna have to take damage from the poison bog. So I'm just kind of hoping for no fight here. Oh! The bog! The bog! The bog! Uh-oh. Too much. Too much damage. Too much. Too much. Too much. Salevna! Alright, actually that's... That's actually really nice. <laughs> because now I don't have to spend much time in the bog. It's actually low enough that I don't have to worry about getting panning down. I can, I can skip the bog entirely, I think. Alright, uh, evac, 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 yep. Yeah. Bog skip. You'll see what I'm talking about. There's a poison bog where I intentionally take damage for a minip setup. I just need to get him down to 1 HP. I need to confirm, do you have... yeah, 82... 81 is perfect, because the max you can heal for is 40. So... No problem. This segment's actually going pretty well. That was a really, really fast death for the sisters. We kill them off because we don't want them to earn any EXP when we level up because we're not actually using them for anything. Okay. We're not messing it up this time. We're going to Endor. Now we're going to sort our items. I don't have to walk outside. I don't have to walk outside. I did frame count whether or not it's faster to get caught by the guard or to wait for him to turn around. And it is faster, at least on this version, to wait for him. It's pretty close though. Like, con conceptually I would say, oh, it's definitely faster to just wait for him and not get the text dialogue, but the fact that it warps you out of here is... a little faster than you might think. Champ. 
is up with the siren today? I'm still short, duh. No. Can I sell both of these? It's a little low on musks, but I almost never use more than two. It's almost always one. This goes first. I'm appraising a club. Oh my goodness. Please. I almost did it again. Okay, then we're set up. Crystal gear. Yep. All right, let's hope for the best. We gotta do this four times. So, thirty five. 
36 to 70, 35, 34. Check Twitter. That is quite the Caleb tweet. Big fan. Alright, 70, so it's 35. Thirty-five, thirty-four, same thing. Okay. Uh Sixty nine damage.
Alright, over halfway through this grind. Fifty, thirty-five, fifty-four, thirty-four, same thing. Yep. Sometimes it works out that way. You get the same time, same thing every time. That is definitely not always the case. Gotta be... Have to be prepared for everything. There's nothing like watching your Elena's crits get stronger and stronger. I think I should investigate a little bit whether or not... It's doable. I don't know. If you're using Bray, I feel like you kind of do need to have buy kill for these fights. Especially Balzac, because it could just really drag. I mean, you could get lucky and just get Elena crits, but you know. Last one. Done manipulating. Uh, let's see, sixty four, thirty five. 88, uh, so it's 12, wait, 88, 31, no, 65, hold on, yeah, uh, I got the wrong value, hold on, 37, Let's try this. I'm not so hopeful, I may have to reset this one. I might have failed it, actually. There's only one value that ends with 31. Okay. That's just some sketchy math. I'm gonna have to go back and look at the VOD. It's clearly there was some sketchy math somewhere in there. I think I'm going to skip getting the Sands of Time this run, and I'll probably take a safety save somewhere in the Gardenberg Cave. That's really what I need it for most. Balzac, Kilion, yeah, sometimes it's nice to reset those fights, but you should be okay. But it is, it, it definitely saves time by not picking up the Sands of Time. I just feel like it's a little unnecessary. It's unnecessary until you need it, and then you'll regret not getting it. But I'm going to skip it this run.
This run's definitely at good pace, though. It's... It's solid. We'll see how the grind goes, but... If we don't have any blow-ups... ...for the next three bosses... ...we're on a decent pace. Top it off all the way. I'm gonna save the fight in here. Especially without the sands. These fights are really bad. Oh! Tiki! That just made it not worth it at all. Well... <laughs> Damn. It's worth it if I die. Termomanonators! Oh, God. He's going twice. He's healing twice. These fights are so scary. Come on, man. Don't do this to me. We're about to save time and split. See ya. I don't believe that Christo has... Zing yet. Do you? No, you don't. Okay. Oh, I'm not even close at the money. I said I wanted to do this run. Be more on top of it. This is a weird scenario, though. It's pretty rare. Uh, I want to sell an abacus. I'm not buying. I say it's pretty rare because it's like. We're in this awkward spot right before we're about to learn Zing on Christo. He's gonna get it either next fight or the fight after. I guess I can just do that from that menu there, huh? You know, that's actually... I made a slight blunder there. Because... Hero is wearing the circlet. Like, he would have survived that.
Are we good? Yeah. Oh, I'm missing one. This. Alright, Keely on time. Alright, we're just gonna hope we don't need the sands. No big breath. No double big breath. That might actually just kill the run. Max HP is kind of low. Good start. not focusing on healing. That's attacking. That's like the opposite. Damn, that was fast. That's the AI really helping out, because Bray used Crackle because the AI as a whole knew I was going to be done with that fight that turn. Whereas if it was me controlling, I would have used Accelerotl. Nice. Alright, I'm pretty sure it was daytime out, so I can use the, the lamp. Looks like I'm losing a bit of time. It's really just because of Hero's death. Oops. Ah, fuck. I'm cursing because I should do it when I'm inside here, not outside. I, I went in the area, but I need to literally go into the castle so that Ragnar doesn't get healed. So what are you going to do? Attack. Kind of expect them to use buff again, but... Probably should heal with the hero, but... What do you want me to do? I'm just going to go for it. It's sad because this run is actually doing pretty well, but I keep having these fringe death cases. In that case, I could have, like, used Hero to heal Bray, and Christo still would have died. And I'd rather just end the fight. There's not much I can do, though. I'm pretty much just gonna have to revive him. If it's anybody else, it would have been okay. 
But unfortunately, I don't think Christo learned this. He was going to get off of that fight, but he didn't, so... Haha. Uh -huh. Those fights were both still fast, it was just... Death's a death. I'm not sure, like, I could have done this. I could have put this off into the guard of her, but I actually think I'm just gonna take my full heal here. Yeah, well, let's hope nobody dies during Bakota, which almost never happens, but we'll see. Yeah, man, it's really expensive to have to revive your party. Trying to hang in there in this run. It's a little slow. Oh, I totally missed this. It's not the end of the world, but, you know. There's definitely room for time save near the end. Especially the final fight. Oh man, I have so much time to save there. Nice knowing you. Often. Not often. Doing a run, need to do runs regularly, so when we get to the marathon, we're And then we'll be smiling. Heal, revive, we're good. There's a thief. There's nothing special there, except incarceration. <laughs> you found incarceration.
I wonder what makes the game always choose Maya. It's probably that she's at the end of the wagon. I'm not taking any more risks, man. Every fight you get into just costs so much time. It sucks. This is rough. I'm definitely safety saving in here because Christo does not have does not have Zing. Get by the next encounter. It's like fine if it's just like if you have Zing or if you have Sands of Time, you can work. But neither of them. It's probably fine, but it can go south real quick in this cave. The boss fight is not really a problem. That was a really early fight. There's not much I can do. Alright, that's good. Alright, that was... got bailed out. Could have got punished there for misstepping. Worked out though. I wanted to play preemptively so that Christo was going to heal, but he ended up using the buff. Alright, this should be enough. Unless Bray gets hit with a physical. Alright, we're Christo gets his sorely needed level up. That's definitely fast. Alright. It's too bad when I saved on that first floor. I still had to do two fights. But it's fine. Okay. Finally didn't open up both doors. 
incredible. The frame save. I'm kind of undecided the order. If it's quote unquote smarter to go to the waterfall cave or to go to Colossus first. It it probably is better to go to Colossus, because you, then you can get the Aeolus shield for maybe some of the encounters in here. Kind of undecided on it though. If only. Gotta get the Dutch version. Definitive version. Burgermeister Pauline. My favorite is that Jarmar, who's Swedish, I believe, describes it as a gibberish language. <laughs> Oh, nice. Made it without a fight. I really need to heal. Octophon. Now that I started bringing Torneco back in here just to have Padfoot, I don't know. I'm very undecided about Death Mask. I guess if you're here, like, you kind of might as well get it, but I also totally feel like you don't need it. However, I stopped buying an Iron Apron for him in Chapter 3. And because of that, he's, like, actually very squishy. Those guys are actually kind of dangerous. I can cast Blazemore. Burning Breath. I get into a battle, I need to put the shield on. Kurt Buzzer? Uh, what is it? It's Kurt? Is it Kurt Bu- Kurt? I'm not sure. Feel, f feel free to enlighten me.
Demon Hammer. That's right, this is a Demon Hammer stream. I chose the wrong ear. Kurt. Oh. Oh, really? I thought it was referring to, like, some guy. No? A Kirk buzzer? <laughs> I see. Just another ridiculous DQ4 reference. What does that even mean? Thanks, 18. Turn angle. Yeah. I'm not sure what I was thinking, but I was definitely thinking Kurt. Is this a run where we only open up four doors? Oh, baby. Uh, Bulanka. Sure, I get the shield on. I think I'm gonna stay at the end. Christo's MP is just low enough that I think it's worth it. I've been really skimping by with money this run. for the magma staff. <laughs> Meat pack. Torneko's not coming with. I'm sorry, Torneko, you're not power leveling with us. You're not cut out for it. Picking this up just because I'm worried about money. All 
Alright, here we go. Final grind. I gotta remember I can sell the shield if I need to. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Alina. Here we go. Paul Christo. It's actually really nice using the hero to heal, giving Christo more options to use whack and thwack if he needs to. Oh baby. Boom! Boom! Three quick ones! Easy! That's a damn fine start. They attack! Goodbye! Bray outspeeding Elena. I like it. Fight sucks on ice. I'm out. That's lucky. You hate to see it. 
You hate to see it, you really do. Thanks, hero. Boom. I feel like the hero has already made up for... having the hammer on. So off to a good start. And then these guys show up. guys show up. beat does not work against these guys. Metal. Christo staying awake. Then these guys show up. It's been a solid minute of nothing. Then these guys show up. You're attacking the wrong one. Never mind. Hero. We still got a bit to go, but... Oh, baby. Baby. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Take them. I'll take those quick battles. Even if it's one medal and it's a quick battle. That's what's up. Cheese? What kind of cheese are you talking about? Rename, what's your favorite cheese? Money? I know I, I asked that before you said it. Money is your favorite cheese, dude. Alright, man. Hey! 
Pepperdo. Mine's cheese zero five. Alright. <clears throat> what started off to be a ridiculously fast grind now we're tapered off to mediocrity. Because of these guys. Part of the reason I don't love using Cristo instead of the hero is that the hero can one-shot a fair amount of these enemies without needing Bray much earlier than Cristo can. But it is really helpful to have hero and utility. I don't know. I'm kind of undecided about it. It's just nice having the hammer option. Otherwise, Christo is not really all that helpful. Oh, really? Dang. This is an unfortunate battle. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna try something. I'm trying to zap. Hell yeah, I'm using Zap from now on on these guys. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, this sucks. This grind started off so good. Now look at it. It's been multiple minutes of nothing. Shame. Shame, shame. That's the way it goes, man. This is awful. It's been like five minutes. No. I don't think I'm ever doing it, but the answer is probably manipulate this as well. Just very tedious. You'd have to really find a good LMS pattern. I'm just not interested in it. This is actually getting out of hand. Fights. 
Nice. Nice. They're pissed. No one's happy. Alina's killing him in one hit. Oh my god. Look, it's a metal song. Boom. Boom. Boom! It's over. Two plus minutes on what started off to be one of the fastest grinds I've ever seen just turned out to be a complete bush. <laughs> the way it goes, man. Alright, so that should give me enough EXP to get... Omni heal. I'll risk it from here. Dealing with the blades is just very... It's slow no matter what you do. I'll take my 50-50-75% chance runs. And fail all of them, of course. <laughs> Just love, love the RPG speed game. I'm done with you, Humbaba. Out of here. Very hopeful PB for me, but how many tries? I am I've done it again, I keep forgetting. Supposed to take off the. Take this off before I do. Where's slime? I'm supposed to get rid of my curse before I come here, but we're here. I'm just gonna mod rod and hope for the best. Nice tweet, PM. <laughs> There's a lot of check Twitter moments in this run.
I wonder what spell they're using. Because if they were using zoom, they would just go straight up. But no. They use a spell to do a long jump. Alright, how many tries? What am I doing? Going with five. I'm a skeleton. I'm a girl. Doing? Long jump. We remember this time. It's incredible. It's a taku. Looking good, T. <laughs> Me and my three com companions. Nice work, Christo. Christo. I don't really need to take this heal station, but sure. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting this, but this. In case anybody who's watching did not know, it is a magic water font. It's actually pretty nice. Magic water vial. It's like a prayer ring that breaks on the first use. <laughs> That's the wrong eye. That's how you start off the fight. Wake him up. Crystal, go. Using multi heal to heal one dude. Good job. Ah, that's too bad. Damn! That's how you make up for it. Alright, that's actually really nice. Should be able to end this very soon. Sap wearing off on that turn is actually too bad. Probably next turn. Nice. 
Nice. That's really good. Maybe the turn after. Nice. Okay. That was a good fight. Gold split by like second. Alright, I definitely have time to save for the next few splits, but I don't think it's in the realm of how much I lost from that grind. I want to have a nice, fast Necrosaro fight. That'd be great. Not one that takes a billion years, like last run. <laughs> oh, the Tiki's are here. I'm gonna play this very safe. Oh, okay. You know what? Actually, I'm not. Because I'm just gonna have to fucking go for it. Because she's asleep. Hero should survive. It's just gonna be slow as fuck. See ya, Krista. Alright. Thank you for participating, Christo. Alright, so it's... it's... Daytime, meaning I have to use the end. It's nighttime, I can go outside and change it to daytime and save some time. A lot of time. You little ripper. Give it a burl. Give it a burp. Give it a burp plug. That's what he said. Alright, this is the segment where I lost a billion last time because I got six out of six of the eight encounters that I got into before the end game. Six of them were ambushes. I have to believe we can do better than that. Too late. I made a mistake last run too. I was so worried about resetting the fight because somebody died that I wasn't thinking that I'm literally in this dungeon. You can pick up a leaf at any time, so if somebody dies here, it's worth just running away. Even if like everybody else is dead except one character, because you can just easily revive them. Anywhere else may not be the case, but here, yes. Already an improvement. 
I shouldn't be resetting the the Enka there, because I'm gonna get into a fight. But I'm not gonna get into two, so it's pointless too. Look at that! I'm I'm not sure I'm so interested in looking into it, but it's pretty evident that the ambush rate just goes through the roof at some points in this game. Even still, that was actually a pretty, very reasonable tree. Can you? No. Okay. I wasn't sure if you were outside the Torneco could reach. Can't. Only two encounters in here is pretty good, though. Hey, cool sword. Thanks, man. Just picked it up from a tree. That's where all the cool swords are. Should get in on it. Not cool. Not cool. The Juju. Guru. The Bouillon Cube. I'm getting burned because I didn't use the book in time. Nice. First floor is usually not too bad. It's like the second, or I guess it's the third to last floor. That's where you're gonna get into a fight. I think the more I play this, the more I think that it's more and more reasonable that you skip the Sage of Stone. I think if you have Omni Hill, Bray has so much other work to do. It makes sense for you to not have to worry about it too much. I'm definitely still picking it up, but... I can see if you're really squeezing for time, just do it. <sighs> yeah, I'm not. I don't really think we're gonna PB this run, but I do think that uh, it's gonna be a decent run. That's what I was looking for today, for sure. We'll see, though. Time to save. 
especially at the final split. Beelzebul. I mean, if you're gonna get into a fight, that's probably the best one. <laughs> These randoms are so much smoother than last time. That's really unfortunate, though, that I got into that fight in the world map coming here. Dragon God! The Zenith Dragon! Got an email. Worried about measles? No, I'm not. I think I'm going to be okay. Meteor Zenith Dragon! Try this again. Yeah. You don't do the animation if you approach her from that side. It's kind of nice. There's stuff like that in speedrunning that's so, like, That's so hard to describe to somebody, right? Like, if you had a conversation with someone about speedrunning as a whole, how would you ever <laughs> be able to talk about some topics that are like, oh, yeah, you know, like, if you approach this NPC from this angle, you save a few frames because you don't do a specific animation that otherwise you wouldn't think Stuff like that where it's like, wow, the knowledge that I have about random little things is so not translatable to anybody. <laughs> caught it this time. It's incredible. To reset tactics. I lost actually a lot of time last run to that. Mostly in the uh, the tree.
Yeah, this is a really good cave as well. Cave the Nadiria. Oh, we might be able to turn something around here. Maybe. I think that's besides the scenes. Eight strengths are real good. Big fan. Too much? Christo, Christo, what are you? Okay, Christo. If it pays off, we're gonna be friends. Right. Paid off. That's actually bad. I'm trying to get EXP on him. I mean, this Kazin comes right in time, but I am trying to get here to level 32. I'm glad we got that extra liquid metal. That actually is going to matter. It's pretty rare to get double crit by Giga Demon. Sub Red Blue. No beat today. Hopefully. If I cast beat on one of these guys, something. I messed up big time.
Come on, Bray. I would love to be able to attack with Chris though, but... I mean, be able to use Oomph on him manually, but he's, he has to heal a lot. Alright, he should be dead probably this turn. Unfortunately, it's time for a prayer ring. Everything's great. Yes. Everything's great. That's probably where I should use the magic water, really. I think I'll use it next there. defense down before he casts bounce again because he has pretty high defense. He does not have a lot of HP though. So hoping for an attack, I'm pretty sure he's gonna die for the next hit. Even Bray knew Christo. I think Christo could have done it. <laughs> there it is, Omni.
I've decided to play more aggressively on this fight. Well, now it's gonna be sketch. <laughs> Maybe too aggressive. Because now they're gonna start summoning allies. Now we're just gonna go all in, whatever. Alright, come on team. Hit the hit the the right one. That's the left one. You're summoning a dude, aren't you? No! Maybe, maybe playing aggressive pays out. <laughs> All right, one last party heal, then we're at, we're on our way. I might actually save time on the split. We'll see how it goes. Unfortunately, the, the dialogue at Final Haven is kind of slow. Let me just make sure I got. Yeah. Wait, do I? Two dudes? Yeah. Wow. Even when the few mess missteps made it through there without a fight. Crazy. Hero and Elena are tied on HP. Elena's kind of had low HP this entire time. Christo's got a lot of HP. Alright, maybe save a little bit of time on the split. But really, it's the Necrosara fight that I'd like to speed up. That fight can be really, really fast, or it can be a train wreck. And it was kind of a train wreck last run. Hello? Now we got Omni Heal. We'll see how it goes. Padfoot's about to wear out, but I don't need to worry about it. To be able to make it from here. Actually, I don't know. I probably shouldn't risk it for the Prince of Darkness. He's here. He's casting Kerfrizzle. what I get for risking the menu. I'm gonna use it with you. Prince of Darkness is here. Alright, yeah, put the Sage Stone on so we can just go. Nice, barely gold split, sure.
Yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's play aggressive. Feeling the aggressive. Not even all that worried about sap, but let's see. Every time he changes forms, you have to reapply the sap. Say that's the best time to change. This fight, this form is one of the worst in terms of consistency. Because of that. Crystal dying is definitely the worst. Oh, baby. Oh, when did I use Oomph? I must have, like, just used it. <laughs> Wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Bray went first. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that was a really good phase three. Even with the, the one whack, it's fine. Christo actually doesn't have too much to do, so I'm gonna use the prayer ring this turn with him. Heal next turn. The ring disintegrates. Actually, if you're gonna meditate, that's like the best time to do it. Christo should still be fast. This now. I think he's still fast. Uh, that's really good timing for Accelerottle then. Perfect. One time ring. That's. Uh. I did use that. It's. I got two uses out of it. <laughs> One time in this fight. Uh. I'm going to. Playing a little bit risky with Christo. Yeah, he's fine. Risky. That'll be fine. That's a shame. Let's have high defense going into the next phase. Sapping, it may not even matter. Hero? Oh, I was really hoping it was hit right there. And that's unfortunate. 
I'm actually gonna defend with you, because I really do want to get this off. Nicely done, team. Thumbs up. Hero outspeeding. Before Accelerado took effect. That's good. I'm just gonna preemptively use Ring again. You can hang in there, Ring. I believe in you. The Ring disintegrates. That's some... that's some luck right there. <laughs> that's actually really bad, but hopefully can make it work. T isn't affected. In this case be a little bit preemptive so we don't get completely owned later. Christo? Oh, we're just outspeeding entirely. I guess that makes sense. Oh, I misread that. I'm supposed to Just don't make it. That's right, Gragor. Okay, I think in this case, I'm gonna have to... This... Alright, Accelerado's about to wear off. But I think I'm gonna let it wear off so that I can go into Phase 7 with it back on. Uh, it's this. Hero! Yeah, this is a phase where I kind of let things subside a bit so that I can recharge them before we go into the end. Get Accelerado off. Worry about Oomph on the potential next turn. Okay, well, you know, that whole Accelerado thing would be nice. But instead, we're just gonna go. She was defending. I guess, but whatever. Christo! 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 Christo!
Yeah, yeah. Yeah? That's a fast turn from you, my man. We living, we're living. This is kind of a shame. Okay, let's do it. I don't love it, but... All right, what is it? Anything but waves. Great. Time to go, motherfucker. I guess we're PVing. Sure. Are we? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, based on the gold split, sure. Nice run. That was a good fight at the end. He was actually pretty nice that fight, for the most part. Three gold splits in a row. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I mean, it was a solid run. It definitely was. The weakest part by far was the grind segment at the end, which sucked because it was almost really, really fast, but... It's all good? Everything else was pretty solid, though. Yeah, I mean, this very unfortunately had a... A death at the beginning, chapter one. But I decided to just kind of keep going. Then chapter two, three, and four were all good, like really solid. Chapter five started off pretty rocky. Balzac was good. I just had like a few unfortunate deaths, where I not party wipes, just like one character dying, and I'd have to go revive them. There it is. Alright. I'll be right back. I've had to use the bathroom for like three hours. <laughs> We're not going to desecrate this with... <laughs> commercials of other Dragon Quest games this time. We'll just let it play out. Enjoy the quarter. It's 
true, man. We're doing the DQ9 run on uh, Sunday. And I gotta like get the whole setup ready. Like food ready. The whole thing. It's just RPG season now. I was thinking about putting it off until after Limit Break, but this weekend happened to be a good time for it, and I was just like, you know what? I kind of want to be free of RPG after Limit Break. Besides FF5 stuff, I guess. But right now, it's RPG season. Do, 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 do. special Torneco animation. I really wasn't expecting this to PB. I'm trying to think of where, because I had been losing time for a while. I guess, I guess that Necrosaro fight in my last PB was that slow. I definitely made up time on uh, the Necrosaro start split, but I think the fight itself was pretty slow too, because we're saving about. Three minutes. A stock? Uh, yeah. It's. I mean, it, it just barely golded, but it was very good. The way that fight works is that uh, he can go to sleep, and sometimes it's kind of dangerous. But if it happens to work at the right time, it means that you skip freezing waves. And if you skip freezing waves, it just means you don't have to reset up your party, and you can, if you can keep up with the damage output, you can just crush them. And that's basically what happened here, which is good. It's kind of been an interesting, like, so I, it's not like I'm not using splits because I'm like scared of them or whatever. It's more so that I, I take them out so that I focus on versus gold. And I know there's other ways to do that with live split, but, um, you know, I generally compare against gold, so I understand. Oh, like, you know, compared to with the best case, this is average or whatever. Because one single run ordinarily is, like, each split doesn't matter that much to me. So if I get an s -Turk time, which is technically a gold, but it's basically the same as the other gold that I have, it's just like, oh, that was a good fight. It's weird. Everyone has different approaches. I feel like with platformers, it's... I don't know, you can probably make the same argument. It's usually a lot tighter. Like here we're dealing with minutes and seconds. In the platform you deal with seconds and milliseconds. I'm definitely happy with this run. It's just... I mean if you grinded out chapter 1 get minus 2 minutes and you lost some time. I'm sorry, you picked up some time in the early parts of chapter 5, and then you have a fast grind. You could save, like, 
tent, but that's like, that's an RPG grind, you know? All I care about is trying to make fast menuing decisions. Smart ones, too. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's... I think splits are definitely super helpful for the, the viewer. But it definitely works both ways, you know? People see red on a stream and they're like, ah, oh, whatever, I'll just come back later. They see green and everybody starts getting hype over nothing. <laughs> menu randomizer. Your menu is all fucked up and you just have to fix it. <laughs> True, man. Just gotta put some green on your splits and draw a crowd. <laughs> Next April 1st. A link to the past menu randomizer. First place gets. Three cows. Yeah, set the set the <laughs> the colors. Make it like an optical illusion, so it looks like it's green and gold. But then when you look at it from the side of your screen, it's actually just red. <laughs> Yeah, three cows. That's like you have to move to a farm. You know how if you like win a car, you have to pay taxes on it? It's actually a big deal. Think about three cows. Good question. Maybe maybe two of one and one of the other. How many udders do you need? <laughs> Sugiyama Kobo. Nakotsu. Thank you, Yoshiki Watabe, for your hard work. Honda san, thank you. Bird Studio. Bird Studio. Save time. Gold split at the end, too. Four gold splits in a row. Incredible. We didn't get lost in Zenithia Castle. Nice run. Nice PB. I'm happy with it. It's cool. 435. Great. 
All right, that's it for me. See you around. Thanks for watching.